Finally, they wandered south of downtown, into a plaza surrounded by smaller glass and brick buildings. Hazel's nerves started tingling. She looked around, sure she was being watched. There, she said. The office building on the left had a single word etched on the glass doors. Amazon. Oh, Frank said. Oh, no, Hazel, that's a modern thing. They're a company, right? They sell stuff on the internet. They're not actually Amazons. Unless... Percy walked through the doors. Hazel had a bad feeling about this place, but she and Frank followed. The lobby was like an empty fish tank. Glass walls, a glossy black floor, a few token plants, and pretty much nothing else. Against the back wall, a black stone staircase led up and down. In the middle of the room stood a young woman in a black pantsuit with long auburn hair and a security guard's earpiece. Her name tag said, Kinsey. Her smile was friendly enough, but her eyes reminded Hazel of the policeman in New Orleans who used to force the patrol French Quarter at night. They always seemed to look through you, as if they were thinking about who might attack them next. Kinsey nodded to Hazel, ignoring the boys. May I help you? I hope so, Hazel said. We're looking for Amazons. Kinsey glanced at Hazel's sword, then Frank's spear, though neither should have been visible through the mist. This is the main campus for Amazon, she said cautiously. Do you have an appointment with someone, or... Hilia, Percy interrupted. We're looking for a girl named... Kinsey moved so fast, Hazel's eyes almost couldn't follow. She kicked Frank in the chest and sent him flying backward across the lobby. She pulled a sword out of the air, swept Percy off his feet with the flat of the blade, and pressed the point under his chin. Too late, Hazel reached for her sword. A dozen more girls in black flooded up the staircase, swords in hand, and surrounded her. Kinsey glanced down at Percy. First rule, males don't speak without permission. Second rule, trespassing on our territory is punishable by death. You'll meet Queen Hylia, all right? She'll be the one deciding your fate. The Amazons confiscated the trio's weapons and marched them down so many flights of stairs, Hazel lost count. Finally, they emerged in a cavern so big it could have accommodated ten high schools, sports fields and all. Stark fluorescent lights glowed along the rock ceiling. Conveyor belts wound through the room like water slides, carrying boxes in every direction. Aisles of metal cell shelves stretched out forever, stacked high with crates of merchandise. Cranes hummed and robotic arms whirred, followed by cardboard boxes, packing shipments, and taking things on and off the belts. Some of the shelves were so tall they were only accessible by ladders and catwalks, which ran across the ceiling like theater scaffolding. Hazel remembered newsreels that she'd seen as a child. She'd always been impressed by the scenes of factories building planes and guns for the war effort. Hundreds and hundreds of weapons coming off the line every day. But that was nothing compared to this. And almost all the work was being done by computers and robots. The only humans Hazel could see were some black-suited security women patrolling the catwalks and some men in orange jumpsuits, like prison uniforms, driving forklifts through the aisles, delivering more pallets of boxes and stuff. The men wore iron collars around their necks. You keep slaves? Hazel knew it might be dangerous to speak, but she was so outraged she couldn't stop herself. The men? Kenzie snorted. They're not slaves. They just know their place. Now move. They walked so far, Hazel's feet began to hurt. She thought they must surely be getting to the end of the warehouse when Kinsey opened a large set of double doors and led them into another cavern, just as big as the first. The underworld isn't this big, Hazel complained, which probably wasn't true, but it felt that way to her feet. Kinsey smiled smugly. You admire our base of operations? Yes, our distribution system is worldwide. It took many years and most of our fortune to build. Now, finally, we're turning a profit. The mortals don't realize they are funding Amazon Kingdom. Soon we'll be richer than any mortal nation. Then, when the weak mortals depend on us for everything, the revolution will begin. What are you going to do? Frank grumbled. Cancel free shipping? A guard slammed the hilt of her sword into his gut. Percy tried to help him, but two more guards pushed him back at sword point. You'll learn respect, Kinsey said. It's males like you who have ruined the mortal world. Only harmonious society is one run by women. We are stronger, wiser, more humble. Percy said. The guards tried to hit him, but Percy ducked. Stop it, Hazel said. Surprisingly, the guards listened. Hilliard's going to judge us, right? Hazel asked. So take us to her. We're wasting time. Kinsey nodded. Perhaps you're right. We have some important problems. And time? Time is definitely an issue.